Good morning, everyone. I'm Alda, and welcome back to Fantasy World Building. This is episode... Yeah, I don't remember. Either way, before we get into it properly here, there are a couple of things I want to go over. First things first, I want to bring up the Amidst map for this world, because there's a couple of things I want to address. Okay, so this is the map for this part of the world. This world specifically. As you can see here, we are in a white sands biome. Now, if you remember, in previous episodes I mentioned that this desert here shouldn't be here, but it for some reason never really clicked in my mind that this specific desert is not just a desert, it's a white sands desert, which is a modded biome. This is significant because this mod that I'm using, uh, I called it climate control, it's not called climate control anymore, it is geographic craft. That mod, well, it's uh kind of complicated and it's it's really great because it's very configurable it's kind of not great because it's really configurable and it's fairly complicated and basically that means that if you don't quite know exactly how to use it you're probably going to get not exactly what you want out of it now, I have gotten it to more or less the place that I want, I think, as far as settings go, but because of the way it works, you have to actually manually add in modded biomes and essentially tell the mod where those biomes should go. And for some reason, I decided to put white sands biomes as both desert biomes and temperate biomes. If I zoom the amidst map out, you can see this here, these sort of navy blue biomes, these are all the white sands, and you can see they're down here in the desert as well. And I, I have no idea why I did this, but apparently I did, so this is what we've got. Uh, I have since changed that setting, so uh, it's, I'm not entirely sure how the mod works. It might be that these biomes further out will no longer be white sands, but I don't think that's how it works. I'm fairly sure it's per world, so we would have to generate an entirely new world in order for the updated settings to take effect. And, well, frankly, I think it's interesting. I, I mentioned before that... We'll have to find some kind of lore reason as to why this desert is here, and, well, I've given it a lot of thought, and I have some ideas. There are potentially a couple of interesting ways we could take it, and it kind of gives us an opportunity to essentially have a blank slate biome. It's a hot biome in temperate regions. And because of that, I feel like there's some interesting things we could do. Uh, just as an example, we could make it a lava-y, uh, volcanic wasteland type biome. You know, manually go in and alter the, the whole thing. Terraform it. Make things interesting. Maybe it's some kind of... It's an area where... I don't know, a nether portal blew up or something, destabilized, and now there's nether here. I think, I think it's, it's not what I intended, but I think rather than just starting over, it's more interesting narratively to just kind of roll with it, make something interesting. It's, it's here now. We have a desert. And it's a hot biome, so let's do something with that. Just before we 
carry on, I just want to point out, zooming out further in this amidst map, uh, the way I have it set up is to have the biomes in essentially latitude bands. You know, there's the cold biomes way up in the north, the hot biomes down south, where in the temperate regions right there in the middle. And the way this mod works is they will just basically repeat the pattern going north and going south further. Uh, looking at it, just kind of eyeballing it, there's around about 20,000 blocks from the edge of the frozen biomes to the edge of the desert biomes, so that's kind of the distance we're looking at here. A couple more things I want to point out is, actually we have some interesting biomes round about this um, spawn area. There's the white sands, there's the crystal biome. To the south, there's an eerie. There are a lot of mountains, but it seems like there are quite a lot of mountains just overall, which I think is interesting. But I just kind of wanted to go over that and to let you know that, yes, that's this hot biome is here because I made a mistake, and we're gonna we're gonna just use it. It's it's here now. However, I will say that it's quite a harsh biome, and because of that, I think what we're going to want to do is... Well, let's, let's get in-game here a little bit. Uh, basically, I think what we want to do is let the world load for a second. Uh, there we go. Come on. Loady, loady. Um, I think what we want to do is grab what... Oops. what clay we can from that river over there and basically head further into that crystal biome and to the right uh, I, I, there's I, I want to stick with more temperate biomes because we're supposed to be in a temperate region so I think heading that way is going to be a good idea the other option would be to try and cross the desert west. I'm not I'm not too sure about that, I'm going to be honest. It's I didn't actually measure it properly, but it looks like it's a long way and we've seen the desert is not exactly nice. One other thing before we get into it properly, I just wanted to point out I have a new microphone. If you have any um any suggestions how to get better audio quality out of it than I than what I'm doing? Let me know. Uh, I'm by no means knowledgeable in this area, so you know, let me know. But yes, as as dawn br breaks here, I guess last episode that was. I mean, nothing interesting really happened. I did rearrange my inventory a bit, but. Nothing much other than that, and nothing has attacked. Um, one thing I want to say is... Uh, I totally, definitely, absolutely meant to make those. For sure. I wasn't, wasn't wanting to make storage or anything like that. Nope. In case you can't tell, I'm being sarcastic. What we need... Well, we don't have any more clay but that. And because my inventory is so full, you know what? Yes, here we go. Skillet, saucepan, pot. I only have eight. Well, eight will definitely get me started on the uh, Pam's stuff, but... Ah, fair enough. Okay, now, if we do this... Okay, this one cannot... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Are you serious? My right click got stuck. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, that was a waste of clay. But anyway, yes, I think 
what we're going to do here is just get together some more clay and then head kind of north east head around the mountains I, I think mainly what I want is to get up towards the ocean um, bodies of water are important um, one thing I didn't mention with the amidst map is it doesn't properly show where the rivers are thought you were like spiders I think I'm already carrying that stuff. Oh. Right, this thing. Uh, I'm not sure if this is important or not. Do we really need tomato seeds? I don't have space for clay. Where's more clay? Here we go. Okay, I think that's gonna have to do it for that. Oh, I'd like to check that out. I suppose before heading out, we should probably actually fire a handful of storage containers. And let's not waste the clay this time. This is what we want. Let's say four of them to start off with. Oh, they don't stack. Oh, we may not have enough um, straw. No, we don't. Not for all of these. Okay. More straw. Okay, this is going to take a little longer than I was expecting. If that doesn't just sound like every Minecraft YouTuber. Oh. I want to keep the mushroom because I know it can be made into better food. Can I just plant it though? That'll work. More straw. I don't think any of that counts as grass. That's another reason starting the desert would be really tough. That ought to do it. Where'd my axe go? How many did you need for one of these? I don't remember. Okay. Gonna need some more of that. Okay, well, I think I'm going to get this started, and that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, not really much happened, I'll admit, but sometimes, sometimes that's how things go, especially in the early game. Especially when you're recording most of everything. But I do hope to see you next episode where I'm going to finish these off and then we'll have a bunch more storage and we'll be able to get headed out. No, not this tree. Is that really too close? I thought that would have been fine. Huh. Well, Either way, till next time, I will, I will hope to see you next time, I guess. Um, why does it sound like more is burning than should be?
Am I just being paranoid? Hmm. Either way. See you in next episode. Until then, take care. Farewell.